there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 4. Today we'll continue our last play. This is episode 185. In today's episode we are taking a look at the 10 cylinder salute. For that we need a car with 10 cylinders and the car for today is the 2010 Devon GTX. Oh lord. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Devon. No more goes on. <laughs> Devon. That's, Devon. That's a, that's, what the fuck is that? It's Viper. It's a town in England. That Indeed. too. Is like this thing American or is it English? It's, it's got a unique Viper. wing. It's American, yeah. Unique uh, wing, you say? Hard yeah. wings. Oh yeah, good. It, it's nice. Devon. I, like the... I was kind of hoping this car would come in more interesting colours. But it didn't. And I can't have another red car. Ten cylinder <laughs> salute. The unmistakable roar of ten cylinder engines fulfilled the promise of this event. What? Fulfill Sedona the full promise. Fulfill the promise. Fulfill the promise of who? Right. There we go. Does anyone want to take a guess of what's going to show up to this? I've got to tell you right now. Viper. 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 Audi R8. Audi R8. Viper. Ferrari. What Ferrari has 10 cylinders? Whatever one the v exists. The V10 one. Actually, that's a good point. Uh, the F2004. And the F2003, 2002, 2001, 2000. And whatever the 1999 car was called. Yeah. 97 was the first V10, I think. Oh, Lexus yeah, LFA. Well, that fucked me. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Look at those gauges, though. Oh, Ooh. that's fantastic. Oh, I like those gauges. Oh, these that's gauges. Nice they are a good color. Oh, look, I think I see a Ferrari. Oh, my God. So, my... I mean, Actually, I was technically right with Audi R8s, because Gallardo's. My fucking God, what is this star? To be fair, the average Enzo is probably misfiring on two cylinders, so maybe that makes it a V10. <laughs> Did you buy the Devon GTX? Yes, I bought one. That's why we're using it. Capitalism. <laughs> Hold. So we've got capitalism. We've got the uh, the DLC Lamborghini Gallardo fighting with the unicorn car Lamborghini Gallardo. Ooh. Who is gonna reign superiorious? Superiorious. The DLC one. Well done, Mule, you fuck that up. If it was your heart on the line. Oh, he's going for another dive, though. I'm trying wait, to keep Wait, what's that from? You've given me a flashback to a song, but I can't. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. Mumford and Sons. Yes, of course. I, just, line, ru man. I just ruined your research. <laughs> well, his thing. I've got. I've got a cover of it, but um, yeah. I don't. On my I don't really like the fucking normal version. Well, I guess the more normal ones were fine. <laughs> they just played a lot of cowbell. I'm not a huge fan of the cowbell. You know, I like this gauge cluster. Cowbell. Why? No, you know, I like this gauge cluster. No. I've just sort of put Ooh. myself off it slightly. Why? Because of the white gauges and like the black surrounds to the blue, it kind of looks like a uh, cotton buds. <laughs> I see that, but that doesn't actually bother me. It bothers me tremendously because now I think cotton buds are dictating my revolutions per minute. Well, they're not though, is it? It's the other way round. What? Your revolutions per minute are dictating the position of the cotton buds. Technically, it's not revolution per minute anyway, is it? Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's what RPM stands for. Alright, fucking hell, boast an ethanol. Can't you fucking Jesus? Roar. Have no god except for Otherwise, myself. I'll feed you into the straight 14 engine. <laughs> wait, I thought Jeracer was a god. Oh, wait, never mind. No, Jeracer's a... Jeracer's not a god, he's a mere man. Mortal. Everyone's a mere mortal though when I'm in the room. 
Did you say that? Apart from a yeah, demon. Yeah, I did. A demon or immortal. At least they had a song called Immortal. Stay on the deal, Emil. You can't Boots kill me. I'm virgin immortal. god. What? <laughs> Boots nothing all virgin god. <laughs> Wasn't that kind of his thing? Oh god. What? <laughs> You're the it's virgin the god. No, no, well, I mean the, the Christian one at least. I mean the Greek ones, yeah, sure. Not, em Emil, mm -hmm. I found a thing on my PC. No, Uranium don't tell us about that special fold. No, no, you remember, you remember when you did that video about Ken Buck is gay? Oh no. <laughs> oh, I that song, I, I, yeah. I still have I that found, song. I, I found the fucking uh, voice thing I sent you. Oh. I think I deleted the recording I made. Who did we get to remix? Oh, it was Azzle, wasn't it? As what? Who else do you know who does music? I think, I, no, it might have been LRC actually, I don't remember. No, it was Hazza. I know Rhino was the main voice in it. Boost Taste in Music two, is three, interesting. Punk. Boost Taste in Music is like... It's like getting the Top Gear trio to agree on cars. Me and Boost probably agreeing on about two songs sounding good and that's about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's we agree cool. on the Saviour. And Breaking Benjamin, Blow yeah, Me Away. Yeah, Blow Me Away, that's about the... Ch if you look to our playlists and what songs we have in common, they're probably the only two. <laughs> I think that's accurate. Unless Boost's like a closeted Fear Factory fan or something. <laughs> you know, I could actually stick a link to my playlist in... Uh, I'll stick a link on. to mine and you can... cross uh, yeah, Copy playlist link. I don't actually hate the way the Devon looks, I'll be honest. It's fine. It's a little bit weird, but... Go. Cool. It's janky. You can look through. Yeah, it's called Bay's Bay. Because I'm funny. Die in a housewife. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Why is that your favourite insult? <laughs> it's effective. It's straight to the point, isn't it? It's also it's unusual. Painful. Most people just say, go get cancer. I say, die in a housewife. <laughs> I just think cancer's more agonising. Is it? Well, it depends, doesn't it? It lasts longer. Don't I? I don't know, maybe it's a really slow... <laughs> it's just a lukewarm house fire. What, like it's... Uh, oh god, what was that place? Fucking Centralia. Yes, where, where it's just burning yeah. underground for like 40 years. It's still yeah, burning, I think. I think. Still yeah, Chaser, aren't you in that still state? Um, that's the middle of the state. I'm from the ghetto part of it. Centralia was a ghetto. No, Centralia is the center of Hicks County, of the Hickville. Because Pennsylvania is just eastern Ohio. I'm from Philadelphia, which is basically New York. <laughs> Pennsylvania is just eastern Ohio. Why do you act like Ohio is that bad, is it? I'm going to see if I can do this. Hold on. Shit. Is it copy playlist link? Or is it copy Spotify URL? Uh, playlist link. What's the Spotify shit? I'll post this. Between... Where's the Discord gone? It, oh, it's there. It doesn't want to import my music from my PC, so it sucks. There you go. If you find anything in common in that, please <laughs> let me know. I like how it starts uh, with like four songs of Andrax. I like how the first song is random acts of violence. That's a good song, that. <laughs> random acts uh, of senseless violence. Oh, yeah, B, B, A, B, A, E, B. I, I, have to I, like, how, I like how yours is just like one band <laughs> again, again, again. Whereas mine is like every song is from a different artist. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> I buy like uh, CDs, that's the problem. That's the metal playlist, by the way. I've always got the pop playlist, if you want to look through that. Oh, you have multiple playlists? Yeah, I have two. There's two too many. No, I have, like, artist ones. I also have a Rain playlist that I never listen to. <laughs> yeah, no, there's a lot of Slipknot Stone Sour in there. Um, what, what I'd like to do, actually, is get a playlist that has uh, one song that mentions each month. 
Actually, if you want a bit of a laugh with that playlist, I don't know if you can sort it somehow through there. But uh, if you look at most recently added, that's all like one artist stuff. Yeah, you can view by date added. Yeah. Seven days ago. What was that? Oh, that's that fucking really bad song from the night. Is I like cumbersome. Seven Mary Three. Ah, half my cum. Just a day. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. I uh, went on a bit breaking of a feed me kick. Oh you Oh yeah, for like three songs we like then, innit? Yeah. How far will the fire side take me? How far will I go? Will I go? Gotta be with the young would make me. I've oh, maybe like implosion attic as well. Oh yeah, implosion attic. Um, I mean, Daiki yeah. Cash, yeah, we can't get on Spotify, but we like those. I like his other band. Uh, oh, yeah, I think another one. I think they actually are on Spotify, they? What, Dakota, Dakota Star? Is yeah, that? I think they're on Spotify. I'm going to go and check then, because I like a few of... <laughs> oh. I like the few songs that I heard of theirs. The pop music bit... <laughs> God damn it, that channel's really changed my life. I can't even look at ski lifts without thinking of natural disasters now. <laughs> Where an American plane like flew into one of the cables and a cable car dropped from the sky. Ooh. No, the code star is on. Oh, isn't it? No. But I'm going to go and listen to some in the background. Hell yeah, man. You only know one Alter Bridge song? I mean, there's some good Alter Bridge songs. There's quite a lot of good Alter Bridge songs, actually. Although, it's always the second album's the best one. <laughs> oh, I forgot how Decatur Star also seems to link to something else. If you just type it into YouTube, you get some, uh, yeah. I don't, you just fucking... Did you see my uh, TRE Extras video, or at least pop up in someone's sub feed? No, I'm not subscribed to that. I found, uh, I had to look for a song for that. I ended up going for, like, some fucking dance song from the 2000s, and it's a Prodigy Pendulum remix. Fuck me, that was difficult to find. <laughs> I posted the music video in, uh, thingy, because it was, like, the most 2000s channel, uh, 2000s video I've ever seen. It was also done by someone who knows nothing about cars, because, like, the meetup has, like, a Kia Sports Heart from, like, the year 2000 next to a Touareg. <laughs> it's like how the guy in uh, fucking German Whip starts going on about driving his BMW diesel X6. It's like, okay. What? Every second album is great, the others are meh. Yeah, pretty much. Team man driving German Whip. Sea man driving a German Whip, blacked out windows leaning back. Sea man driving a German Whip, looks like a ball of peas and that. I don't do balls, do I look like a ball? See man driving German whip. See man driving German whip. <laughs> Can't remember the fucking words to Seaman driver. <laughs> yeah, sequel to it's like the prequel to Baby Driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that song should have been a baby driver. When they were driving the Jetta. <laughs> the Jetta? Yeah, there's a Jetta in that, isn't there? No. You think you're the Saturn Aurora? No, that's a Vectra. Uh, yeah. the... Am I being stupid? What am I... I swear there's a Jetta in there that they use at one point. Uh, also, Whereabouts? Pet that's music a Do so you think you're that? That's got a lot of different songs from different artists in it, the pop song playlist. It's also pretty much exclusively 80s pop music, so... Unlikely to have a lot of crossover. Oh, hey, you've got some Brian Adams. Hell yeah, man. You've got to run to Good you. Cup. Uh, I just died in your arms. I've got that by different artists. I just died in your arms tonight. Kids in America, the most underwhelming Whoa. song in the world. Fuck you. It, no, because <laughs> it, it's got an amazing start, and the chorus comes, and it doesn't hit you at all. Looking out a dirty old window, down below I love, the cars and the city. I love the opening to, girl, to Kids in America. <laughs> you almost said girls just want to have fun, didn't you? No, I always say girls in America. Girls but, um, in America, yeah. Oh, you've got Lowrider. <laughs> do I? Yes. Oh, God. Do, 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 oh. do, do, do. <laughs> Everyone knows Lowrider. I Rider. like Lowrider, yeah. Lowrider's like one of those songs that you're just born knowing. <laughs> yeah, you never know why. Uh, um, Don't Fear the Reaper. I like that song. 
Seasons so Do you know, so do you know the only thing that bugs me about that song? What? Don't fear the Reaper. You know, halfway through it, it goes into like a breakdown bit. Hmm. Is it me or does that sound like a Mario Castle theme? Literally, when I first heard it, I thought that was like a sample used in Super Mario World because it literally sounds like the song that I plays when you go into like a fucking castle. Or a I got a 10cc song. I'm not in love. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you know 10cc? Yeah, I've got. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's some squeeze in there. We like squeeze. We like Call of Cats. Can't think of any songs. Oh, you got Jimmy Eat World. Oh God, yeah. Thirty seconds to Mars. I've got one of their songs. Really? On. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's the only uh, thirty seconds war. to Mars song. In it. Um, was the kill the hot pursuit menu music? Break me down, bury me, bury me. That was like big in the two thousand five. <laughs> <laughs> Only right. in 2005, but it was big in 2005. <laughs> if it was no life, so Moves so like Jagger. Oh enough. god, yeah, I like that song. Oh, got Convoy. Come on and join our convoy. Ain't in a beautiful. That song's. Don't ever play that on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just warning you now. Ooh, Why? Like, no. That song is like a fucking copyright, fucking like, take down channel copyright shit. With that song. Oh. Oh, right. It's why if you ever try and find it on YouTube, it's always pitched up. Like, they don't even have the official version of it on YouTube. Because it's from a <laughs> film, so they think you're actually, like, using film footage. It's like when you try and use some of the songs from Tokyo Drift, it fucks it. Because it thinks you're actually stealing the film. I wonder if you know. What do I know? How they live in Tokyo. If you've seen it, then you'll mean it, then you'll know you'll have to go, Mr. Come you No, I wanted to use uh, fucking Six Days, because I like that song. At the starting of the week. It doesn't even make any sense, because that train was never drifting. What? The ice. <laughs> it was clearly more of a power slide. Yeah, but he didn't know what drift <laughs> was. Alright. Drift? Am I supposed to... What's drift? <laughs> <laughs> Proceeds you to smash and this and you. Sylvia into every wall because apparently he doesn't. Apparently, this amazing like street racer doesn't know that you're actually supposed to slow down for corners. Yeah, it's weird because you see the <laughs> race and he's clearly yeah, because he's clearly like a skillful driver. Yeah, because he's you... apparently been in trouble for it before and only crashes at the end. Hmm. My style is the bomb de de bomb de Do you know that's a Kid Rock song? Why? During that uh, bit where they're going through the fucking housing estate. I think the song no. is called Cowabunga or something. <laughs> Ball with the wall, the dangy dang diggy diggy. <laughs> Infineon long course. As opposed to short course. I'm trying to think if there's anything else in there that you'd know. Oh, there's Billy Idol. Do you know Billy Idol? Uh, no. White Wedding? I stay for a white wedding? No. Black Eyed Peas? Yes, I know them. Me be halfway. I like that song. Hmm. Fucking Bush. Chris Rea. Creedence Clearwater Revival, you know who they are. Yeah, no, I'm so. It ain't me. I'm no fortunate wound. <laughs> you gotta know some Hall and Oates, surely. No, I think so. Hall and Oates out of touch, here. out of time. While I'm out of my head yeah, when you're not touch. around. I'm out one of on time. one. They had a remix of that song in Horizon 1. Which, by the way, Horizon 1 that. still has the best playlist of probably any racing game in the late in the 2010s. Uh, 2010s when pl playlists for games fell off massively. <laughs> Need Speed 2015 had like one good song. <laughs> I don't think any of the modern Need Speed games. I like. Um, I, re I like most one of 2012 soundtrack. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> I knew you'd say that. There's only one reason I say that. 
Why? It's because the first song is by Muse, so I instantly turn the soundtrack off. <laughs> <laughs> There's no getting around Muse. What's wrong with Muse? They're oh, horrific. Everything? Muse had like one good song and it was only good because he didn't start singing. <laughs> wow. Knights of Cydonia. And that's only Godden's. Knights of Cydonia is good at the start and it's good at the ending. And that's it. And for then that Muse is just fucking... Gay. <laughs> to, to use an insult from that time. Horizon Rocks featuring Lost Prophet. Geo ignore that part. <laughs> What's wrong with the Welsh? You are aware of Lost Prophets, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like how above the hood scoop on this car apparently it says V10. Ooh. Can you not tell by the fact the bonnet's really long and the back's really short that like it's a Viper? No, you need to advertise that you There's don't literally have one of two cars that are shaped like this. One's a Corvette and one's a Viper. Corvette isn't that long bonnet. Oh sorry, one's a Corvette well, and the other's C3. The 10 million version of the Viper that exists. <laughs> because there's the Devon GTX, there's the Alfa Romeo TZ33 Stradale. That's Bristol a Viper. Pfizer. Bristol, Bristol Fighter Fight was yeah. a Viper. Or actually, was that just a Viper engine, or was it just... No, that was a Viper. Alright. Scotia makes a good point. SLR. That looks like this. Does it? No, yeah, there's an SLR and an SLS... No, SLR and SLS have arses, but the Viper doesn't really have an arse. It's part. I guess the G AMG GT doesn't have an arse. No, it's called Aerodynamics. I can't remember any song. Yeah, you see, if you can't remember any songs from a soundtrack, it's a bad soundtrack. No, oh, I've been, because I bought it on Steam recently. Most Wanted 2005 has a better soundtrack. Because 2012 was cheap, and I wanted to get all the DLCs as well. So I just got all the DLCs and everything. Nice. I've got that on Steam, I actually. I never, I never played the uh, Ultimate Speed DLC. Okay. Um, so I wanted to play that. But the nostalgia I got listening to the same track and being hit with, like, I think it was Circles yeah, see, Around I, the Sun. I've got to be perfect. Do you know how much nostalgia I have for that game? Well, probably zero. Cause I have more nostalgia old. about the fact when we was in school, we was like, oh man, they're redoing Most Wanted. It's going to be like a new version of Most Wanted. We love Most Wanted. And then it came out and was like, this isn't Most Wanted. This is just trash shit. And threw it away. <laughs> I don't think there's actually been a game I've owned more in my life than Most Wanted 2012. Mm. I've traded it in like twice. Why? <laughs> well, Chasey, you echo. Now again? Fuck. Yeah. Um, I bought it on launch, found out it was shit, and returned it for full price. Then I bought it like two years later along with Need Speed Rivals on 360 and then traded them both in for Horizon 1 or Horizon 2 on 360. Which is a good trade, contrary to popular opinion. Um, um Yeah, that's about yeah, it. That's about it. And, now I've, cool, cool. and now I've bought it twice since then because I own it on PC and I also have it on, uh, it on uh, Xbox 360. Because I got bored. Because I got bored. You're echoing still. You're echoing still. I got bored, so I ended up buying it when it was like two pounds on the Xbox 360 marketplace. Completed it, said, "Wow, this is shit," and then moved on with my life. <laughs> I bought it on PC purely. If you, what was that fucking that most wanted session HG had in like 2016? That's the reason I bought it. Oh yeah. The fucking one where people were playing around with trainers and shit. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Remember yeah. game days? That was fun. <laughs> yeah, we had fun. Remember when that was like the one Discord server and it was really useful, and now there's like 15 million other fuckers still. I say that actually, I think there's less of them now. I mean, I don't know, I don't really check the. As far as I gather, everyone's just circling around Aero's server now, so. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, that server is, that server is dead too, I mean, I mean I would Oh, Eros is dead too? Uh, no, not Eros, I mean, I don't go there much, even though it's there, they don't. Yeah, I gather most people are in there, because I think that's where Chicane said he was over there. 
Yeah, I mean... I can't deal with that shit, though. <laughs> I, I mean, if it was a survival, I'm still in there, but... I don't even know if things really happen. Like, people are posting, but... Yeah. Alright, Chase, I'm sorry but about the echoing. It's a weird thing as well, because it doesn't really happen very often, and it just, like, kicks in. I don't know if it's, like, something going idle or something, maybe. Simpler times, ladies and gentlemen, simpler times. Yeah, it, I mean, it was simple. I need, I, to be honest with you, I'm probably going to raid the... There's a few people in the public server I'm going to bring up at some point. I just need to remember to at some point. Yeah, I've got my eye on a few people. Oh. Make, make sure it doesn't end like some of the leads. Yes, no, the cult, no. It's fine, run them through me, I've got a good sense. We haven't actually had that many... Yeah, Only I mean, one of them's did... been bad. Yeah, but I mean... Yeah. You get what I mean, I mean. Nice. Right. Nice. Yeah, I know who you mean. Don't worry. We all know. And if you don't, oh well. Subscribe to Boost and Ethanol and maybe you'll find out. Become a channel member to get inside scoop on all the latest drama. And by latest drama, we mean drama from about a year and a half ago. <laughs> no, it wasn't that long, was it? Yeah, I think it was. Last time we brought someone in was about a year and a half ago. It's been yeah, a while. I mean, what, what happened in between was people actually leaving or getting shown the door? We didn't really lose that many, fucking hell. Well, we lost all the active people. Yeah, no, we didn't. I mean, most of the active people left. We lost like four, and they were all going to turn into raging cunts anyway, so we sort of dodged a bullet in that regard. <laughs> but they did, I mean, I'm not being wrong there. Not all of them. No, I am pretty sure that was a good call. I think I have an idea who we are specifically. Yeah, let's just say two of them are uh, unsavory people. Rear end of this car is weird. I'm trying to figure out who you're talking about, but. Um, Actually, not do you know what the rear end of this car looks like? Uh, I mean, what? If the lights were straight up, they'd look like one of those automation light things. <clears throat> yeah. Because there's some cars you can tell. Actually, I think I've just realised. Are those front headlights literally the headlights from the Viper, but with more coverage on them? Uh, no. No? No. No one's slagging you off, Lex. I couldn't give a fuck. Never fucked with me, but I don't really care. Look at the blood red Lamborghini of Marossa. That's what they're calling when he's out in the town, by the way. Moros. Morosse. Morosse. Give me some Rosse. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at the final cylinder base showcase for the 12 cylinder flagship face off. Join us for that. Until then, farewell. You know Let it go.